You may not be a tattoo artist professionally, but under five minutes, you can be a tattoo artist inside of Photoshop. Let me show you how. So in here is the model of the person I want to tattoo. So I'm going to drag my tattoo inside Photoshop. I'm going to start with this one. And when you download, make sure that the background is transparent. So I'm going to place them. I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to make sure that this is selected to the tattoo. And I'm going to go to filter and go to liquify. And I'm going to make sure that this is selected to the warp tool. I'm going to ensure that show backdrop is checked. And I'm going to go to use and select backdrop and make sure that the mode is selected behind. I'm going to set the opacity to 70%. And with my warp tool, I'm going to readjust this, I'm going to morph it so that it aligns with the body. So when I'm doing my adjustment, I'm just going to click on OK. Then the next thing to do is to double click and go to blend if. The reason for this is to ensure that the tattoo interacts with the position of the light and the shadows. So I'm going to press Alt, I'm going to cut this up from here. And I'm going to make the transition a bit smoother. So as you can see, there's an interaction of the tattoo with the lights. So I'm going to click OK. The next thing to do is to choose, is to blur this out a little bit to make it realistic. I'm going to get to go to blur. I'm going to go to Gaussian blur and make sure that this is selected to 1.5 or 1.7. 1.7 1 works fine for me. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to reduce the opacity to 74 or 75 so as you can see this looks realistic so this my friend is how to be a tattoo artist inside of photoshop you can go on and on and produce tattoos all over his body you are the artist remember and this is your canvas so guys that is for this tutorial if you like the tutorial please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon to get notified anytime I post new contents. My name is Chris and don't stop creating.